Welcome to Fret Not. My name's Rob. My name's Colton, and welcome to the Entry Level Metal Series. Hey guys, uh, thanks for tuning in. If you don't know anything about this channel, uh, we have went out, this channel's went out and we've purchased entry level guitars uh, after doing tons of research that we felt like you could buy at a really budget friendly price that will actually be decent guitars. Mm -hmm. So all you need to do is go to Fret Not One or go to Fret Not Guitar Reviews, either, both on YouTube and uh, get on the page, find one of the guitars that's in a giveaway, like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and then type the words D-O-N-E into the comments under the video, and that puts you in to win a guitar. Yep. Welcome to Fret Not. My name's Rob. My name's Colton, and welcome back to the Entry Level Metal Series, where we have the T's ST1 again, but back again. With the- The mods. With the Frankenstrat? Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, we appreciate everybody for watching the channel. If you're new to the channel, I hope the intro kind of gave you an idea of what we do. We go out and purchase these guitars with our own money. Uh, we bring them in, we do a full review on them, then we put them up on the channel and we give you guys a chance to win them. Occasionally, like tonight, we go out and get a guitar and then we do a little modifications to it. Uh, so it ends up being on two videos, but after the second video, which is second tonight for this one, yep. uh, then we put it up uh, on the deal so you can see it. So if you watch the first video, you know, this is a Tease ST1, um, but with a little bit of modifications. Got a little flair to it. Yeah. You notice anything different? <laughs> so all we did on this, um, we're gonna go ahead and kind of tell you what we did. We're gonna let you hear this in a mix. We're gonna come back and we're gonna tell you our thoughts on the before and the after. And you know, if we think it's worth buying, if it's worth the money, um, we picked this guitar up uh, online. Uh, you, you can just go to, I think it's, I forget. It's probably on the screen now. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> right there. <laughs> well, it floats around, but unfortunately, when we're recording, I can't see it. So yeah. there you go. Mm -hmm. I believe it's teasguitars.com, but you'll see it in a minute. It's on there. So uh, we picked this up. It had three single coils in it. It had a solid white pick guard with white pickups. We did a demo. You can go back and look at that. There is a full review on this guitar. Um, we just thought we could enhance it a little bit and yes. maybe kind of steer it back more to a high gain series style. Mm -hmm. So uh, what we did is we just jumped on the internet. Um, there's a lot of places and please don't think that because we bought what we bought, it is the end all be all, but it's easily accessible. So we went to Amazon, um, to Music Lily, it's all one word. Um, they have a ton of pre-made pick guards with pickups for Strat style. I'm, I'm sure they have it for everything, uh, but they seem to have a lot for this. And so what all we did is we took uh, the pick guard with the three singles out and we put this pick guard in and it comes pre-wired, pre-pots, everything done. You literally just take the screws out, put one in and it's a couple of little solder points and you're done. And this is, um, I believe these are Artec pickups. Artec. And if you've never heard of them, they're obviously a Chinese company, but sometimes on the lower end, not the high end, but on the lower end of the Harley Bentons and stuff, they'll have Artex in them. Mm -hmm. They're not a horrible pickup. Uh, so we got the HSS configuration, put the humbucker in the back. This particular pick guard we picked, we thought it would enhance this gray. So we picked this kind of a little, uh, little iridescent look. Yeah, it's kind of metallic-y looking. And where everything was all white when we got it, mm -hmm. I thought it would look better with this gray and that black up on the headstock yeah. there. So I went back with black, you know, uh, control knobs, and all the pickups are black except this one to kind of give it a zebra effect. Mm -hmm. I dig it. I think it looks really good. Me hey, too. my wife sees hundreds of guitars, and she could care less if it cost a dime or 10000 and she walked in the other day and she says, is that the one you modded? And I said, yes. Yeah. She goes, that looks really good. Mm -hmm. So, hey, we did good. Yep. So, um, you've been playing it. Mm -hmm. The first one and the second one. What do you think about, let's talk about the guitar before the mods. Guitar before the mods, I thought it sounded pretty good. Um, I didn't really have many complaints. I, I play mostly stuff through the uh, distortion. Uh, 
and every now and then I'll play on clean and I wanted to play this one on clean too and like like I said before it's just it's dreamy it's it, it is it really nice on really clean. good on clean so what do you think about the neck now you know we get a lot of entry level guitars mm -hmm. but we're going to tell you the price in a minute and we're going to let you hear it in a minute but what do you think about this neck it's a good neck I like it it plays really nice it's it's comfortable it's it just it feels like something I'm already used to playing on. Good, good, yeah. good. So, like I said, we did the little Frankenstrat version of it, yep. and uh, we didn't uh, spend a ton of money. So, we'll tell you how much this cost us before the mods. We'll tell you how much the mods were. But right now, we're going to do everybody's favorite part of the show, including ours. Mm -hmm. We're going to shut up and let you hear this in a mix, and we're going to come back and talk price point, what we did it, how we got it. And if we think it's worth you buying it, normal and or modded yeah we'll be right back Okay, we're back. So, what do you think now? I really like it. It came out great. Good. Um, after after the mods, it improved. Uh, the, I think the playability, or at least the sound, with some distortion. Right. Um, as it was before, you could kind of tell that it, you know, that maybe wasn't really its wheelhouse. It did it good, but it really did well through clean. But after the mods, I think it can compete just fine in either wheelhouse. Okay, so um, we're going to cut for just a second, and we're going to let you see a short compilation of all the winners that have won so far. We actually have another guy that won a guitar last week. He should be getting it today. Uh, we don't have his stuff yet, but we're going to let you see this real quick. We're going to come back to our price point, and we're going to tell you how we feel about this, and is it worth your time? Okay, we're back. You got to see some of the winners. Real people win these guitars. Uh, the, if you don't know how to win them, you're just tuning in, man, go back to the first of the video, watch that. Please do us a favor. Um, our memberships are live. Um, we have a super thanks button. Anything you can do to help the channel, it just keeps the lights on for us. Yep. And it keeps us, you know, the ability to do this and give you guys guitars. Pretty much every week, we're giving away something. Just about. And it's Thursday night at the recording of this. Saturday night, we're giving away the Harley Benton. Yes. It's a good little guitar, man. It's a rocker. So make sure you get in on that drawing. There's four or five guitars all the time up on our channel. Go to our entry-level series playlist, man. They should all be stacked at the top. You do is watch the video. The instructions are on each video, man. Get in on that stuff because we just give guitars away. 
that's pretty much all we do and right? review them. Right? All right. So we paid 144 bucks for this guitar shipped to the door. To the door. And it comes out of America. So if you're in America, you're going to have it in a couple days. It's not bad. They've got, at the time of recording, they had quite a few different colors. Uh, I just chose this gray because I thought it was a little different. And in my mind, I kind of knew we was going to do some modding. And I'm thinking gray and black looks good together. Yeah, I like it. It's good, good looking color. So we told you we went to Music Lily on Amazon. Now you can do this with anybody. These are not super high-end pickups, but we got all three pickups. The pots wired everything shipped for 90 bucks. It's pretty good. So to get a humbucker, two single coils, to get the pots, good pots, to get good wiring, uh, it's actually got really good wiring on the back of it, and to get something that you just take one out, solder a couple of wires, slip the other one in, and you're done. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty good deal, man. Yeah, it's almost plug and play. It is almost <laughs> plug and play. So we're in about 230, 235 on this with shipping. Um, I'm going to tell you something. Before we modded that, that's one of the best necks I've played on any guitar. And I'm not trying to taunt this company. I'm just telling you the truth. There's a lot of $1,000 guitars that the neck don't play that good. Yeah. Easy. These are stainless steel frets. They're ball in. That's a bone nut. And then we took it and put some uh, little higher <clears throat> and Alnico 5 pickups in it. So it's got a little bit more of a bite to it now. I mean, for 230 bucks, if you yeah. did everything we did, and obviously you could spend a little bit more and get better pickups. Yeah, you could. You know, we got three pickups, uh, pots, wiring, everything, pick guard, everything for 90 bucks. So yeah. we didn't spend a ton of money on pickups. No. No, that whole little kit's a little, it's kind of hard to beat. Yep. So, uh, A, do we like this guitar? Absolutely love it. Yeah. B, is it a mosh pit superior superior king? Absolutely not. But it will play most anything you would want it to play. And if you're wanting to play something that it really doesn't like to play, when you put your fingers on the neck, you're probably still going to play it anyway because it plays that good. Yeah, it plays really well. It's... It, it's a hard tie from some of the entry levels that we've that we've reviewed, <clears throat> probably maybe the West Creek or Harley Benton, and then this one. And I I kind of feel like this one's kind of on top for me. It just it really plays well, and I think if you didn't do anything to it at all, it's a fantastic guitar. For hundred and forty four bucks, it's a yes. steal. Yep, it's a great guitar. The only problem is this company right now makes like two or three different guitars, and we've reviewed two of them. So you know, and it I feel bad because we have reviewed two of them. But hey, we reviewed a bunch of uh, West Creeks, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? And uh, so all you guitar makers out there, you need to get on it because we're running out of guitars to review. So y'all need to start making some new stuff. I wouldn't be sad if we reviewed another one. It's really good, mm -hmm. man. It's it, That's a really good little guitar. So the uh, bridge on here is a, uh, it's a six point, I think, trim. Yes, yeah, a six point trim. It does come locked down from the factory. So since we've got it, we never put the arm on it. We've never even used the whammy bar and it plays just like a fixed bridge. Uh, you can just adjust that, and then it, it is, you know, pre-floating, however you want to call it. So yeah. you do have a little wow wow if you need some wow <laughs> wow in yeah. your life. All right, guys. Now, if you are been around the channel, I didn't say this at the start because I didn't want to confuse anybody. You'll notice things are different. A little bit. So um, just to make it really quick and painless for everybody, the house that we were in, we sold, and that's where we filmed everything was in that bedroom. Uh, hopefully in the next week or two, we will have our sign back. We're sad that our sign is not in here at night. Yes, it is with us in spirit, though. Yeah. <laughs> we will have it back up. Uh, we'll be at this location for a little while. They're building us a new house, and it's going to have a, a full studio in it. So uh, if you hang in there, man, we're going to have a really nice spot for you guys, and we're going to have a good place to film. And honestly, we're going to have real lighting. Yeah, actual lighting. And you would be amazed if you don't run video, until you start running video, how bad lighting is. You kind of just look like a carrot. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, guys, go out there, get on the playlist, entry-level metal playlist, get your name in these guitars. Please, if you are been watching the channel, I know you share and comment and like, and man, we're humbled and subscribe to the channel, mm -hmm. but please share it somewhere else. Don't just do it for the one guitar. Man, help us grow this channel. The more people that are on this channel, the more expensive guitars we give away. Yep. And this is the least expensive guitar we've ever given away if you don't count the mods. Right. We've right. never bought a guitar at 144 bucks. 
and it be this good. And you know what's even crazier about this? We told the owner of this company about our idea, and he sent us the guitar free. It didn't cost us nothing. Nice. So we got this guitar free for the purpose of the review, but we agreed to mod it to show you guys what an extra 90 bucks could do for this thing. Mm -hmm. And I think it come out fantastic. I do too. It's it's phenomenal. Yep. It plays really well. I'm impressed with the sound before or after mods. And it's I love the good. sound before because I'm an old single coil at heart, but what I play now, just it don't really function for that. So mm -hmm. the fact that we were able to get at least one humbucker in it and get an Onico 5, I like that string, uh, I don't know how you say it, but kind of a strat gives you that, it brings that string out, each yeah. single string, I like that. It's, it's, a, it's a clean machine, yep. for sure. So it came out really good, so make sure somewhere on this right now is floating around is the website. <laughs> I can't see it, I'm blind to it. Make sure you go on there and check those guys out, man. Um, we also reviewed one of their Telecaster style mm -hmm. bodies, and that thing has more appointments than this, if you can believe it. And it's only two fifty, and yeah, that's I one of the that best one. guitars we have reviewed, bar none. Yeah, I liked it a lot. It was good. Yeah, that's a great guitar. All right, guys, we've kept you long enough. We kind of told you about the studio. We told you about our non-lighting situation and what yeah. we're doing to correct it. So. We appreciate everybody. Get on there, like those videos, share those videos. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and make sure you get in on all of these. If you're watching this video and it's before Saturday, if this video has only been up a day or two, you need to go out and get on that Harley Benton. Yeah. What all do we have? We have the Harley Benton. We have the modded IYV. Fogil. We have the Fogil. What else? I feel like I'm missing one. We are missing one. What else is there? Oh, the other, the Telecaster, the, yeah. the other, um, the, other the SBH, mm -hmm. HD. Yeah, so there's five guitars up right now. Did you see that? Five guitars <laughs> that you can get in them. So listen, guys, we've taken up enough of your time, and we're going to be back to give away the Harley Benton this Saturday. And good luck to everybody out there. Hope you yep. get it. And until next time. Stay tuned.